Hello. We're going to show you how to set up um, our version of a photo booth with a tripod, TV, computer, laptop, camera, flash. So you're going to get to your job and your, your tripod is going to be like this. So find the big knob that's closest to the, the tripod legs itself, unscrew it a little bit, and then pull the legs apart. Just enough to work, you know, good steady, you know, base. Then make sure you tighten it. Very important that you tighten it. <clears throat> then take the whole thing, and after, you, and you, you're going to have a four foot table that you will have already set up. So, but you know how to do that. So set up a four foot table. Then you set this right with the the, the front leg sticking out. So you want to not try and go the front leg coming out. So you want it just like that to the table. So then you're going to get ready to, to set the whole thing. You know, you're going to bring this arm up. So there's, there's another big, big knob you'll see. It's just the largest knob that you'll see on the whole thing. Unscrew that a little bit. And then the whole thing is going to rise up. It's going to rise up. So you want to get that so it's straight like that. It just takes a little bit and you know get that loose as you can to get that straight but hold on to everything because everything is loosey-goosey until this is tight so you get that to an approximate spot that you think looks you know good the fine adjustments will come in a minute so then you're going to scoot this back up to the table to where it's almost touching it you don't quite want to touch it because when the printer is printing it'll make this all shake and you don't want that to happen so next you're going to take your your television which will have a one here and there'll be a one on the bracket also. That's when you know that everything is, you know, right. There's two screws here, two big silver screws. You're gonna unscrew both of them. And there's a hook on the back of the TV, a little hook right there. And there's a spot on the tripod, like right there. You're gonna hook that right on there. Then you're going to take one of the screws, you're going to find that hole, and you might have to look a little back and forth to get it in the hole. And you're going to tighten it, and you're going to take the other one and tighten it. Now I'm tall, so I'm able to go over the TV, but you might have to come from the sides and do it, but whatever works for you. And then just make sure everything else is tight here. Give it a little tight, make sure that TV is you know, nice and you know, secure on there. And then you're going to plug that TV in. Underneath the table, there'll be a power strip that you'll have. You're gonna plug it in. Next, you're gonna plug your, your printer in, which you know how to hook a printer up. It's the, it'll be the bag that's in with the printer bag, and they, they go, your hookups go back there for the printer. So then you're gonna find your, your printer cord, your uh, power cord for your printer, and you're going to hook that up to that power strip. And then you're gonna hook up your computer, which is just a laptop. And it'll be in the bag, you'll take it out of the bag, you'll set it on top of your printer, and that's how I like to do it, just gives you, you know, a little bit of height to it. And then you're gonna set, then you're gonna plug in your um, power from your, from your printer. And that'll be done, or from your computer, I'm sorry. And that'll be done underneath and around, and be plugged into the power strip as well. And then the next you're going to do is you're going to hook up, you're going to have a U, um, an HDMI cord. And on the top of your laptop, you will see it says HDMI, it says printer, it says mouse, and it says camera. These are all very important things. You want to follow this to, you know, the T, to the letter. So you plug that in. Now the back of the, of the television, there's, there's different TVs, but they're all going to tell you where to go with it. And they'll say right there, that number two, that's where you, that's ACI number two. That's where you want to plug in at. So you plug your ACM, HDMI cord in there. Boom, that's set. Next, you're going to hook up your USB coming from your printer. So then that is your USB, it plugs in back there, it's just a you know, regular USB looking thing. And that's going to plug in right here where it says printer. Very important that you get the printer in the right one. So that and that, then that's plugged in. 
Next, you're going to use your mouse, your little dongle, which will be in there normally, and then it plugs in where it says mouse. And make sure you turn your mouse on. Next, you're going to take your camera bag, and it'll be closed like this. You'll open it up, and this cord will be wrapped up in there with this box, just like this. And you'll pull that all out, and you'll drop this cord right down the front. Going to take the camera and you're going to mount that right up here on top and you'll see this this little jabby do goes back and forth you're just going to start to screw it in the bottom of the camera i always put it out towards the edge and then you screw a little bit until it's a little bit tight then you take the big gray one and you tighten it up just make sure it's good and you know so it doesn't fall off there that'd be a disaster so that's done so then you're going to go down here to the the power cord for the camera and you're going to hook that up. You're going to plug that into that power strip too. So there you go. So now that, oh, that's plugged in. Then you're going to go back into your uh, camera bag. You're going to get your USB for your camera. One end is for the computer. One end is for the camera. Inside the camera is a little flap. You flip that open. And you'll see where it goes. It only goes in one spot. Of course. There. So you get that in there. Then you're going to bring the, the USB cord down and around to where it says camera. Again, very important that you do these where it says to do it. Okay, next you're going to go way back in your camera bag and you're going to have your, your, your hot shoe. And it's just a, a hot shoe that sends a signal to the, to, to the flash, which is going to be on there in a minute. So that, you're going to come around to the front. You're going to make sure that this is facing forward, just like this. You slide it on there a little bit. Unscrew that wheel if you have to, just a tiny bit. Slide it on there. And then give it a little turn, not much. Just enough to get it snug, but you don't want to over tighten that thing. Not, not, not even near tight. Just enough to so it doesn't come off. And always push this in. Just make sure that's in there as tight as it goes. So next, you're going to have your flash. Your flash will be in a bag like this. You flip that open, there'll be a cord. That's your power cord. And you'll have a shield. You will have, this will normally be on there all the way. So you have this on there like that. So you take these two prongs, squeeze them in, and pull the cover off. That's just a protective cover for, for traveling. So then this is your, is your flash. So you're gonna, this big long knob is loosens it up. Then you flip this forward. And in a normal situation, your flash is going to be facing away from the people. And uh, you take, when you put it, put it up on this pole, you're going to tighten that down a little bit. To where it's, you know, a little bit tight. And then this, just that, you know, the, the angle of that. So once you get it to where, you know, it's working for you, then you take it and you push that up and it's set. But because our ceiling is low here, we're not going to put the, we're not going to have the umbrella on top, which the umbrella, you know, it just slides through this little hole up here and then tightens down. It's really easily self-explanatory. But for now, we're going to swing it around and have it facing them. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to tighten that down. And then, and then we're going to take the, the shield, which you probably want to do it when it's on the ground, but I'm a big guy, I'm a tall guy, so I can do it up here. So then you take those, those spring, you take those those spring clamps, you squeeze them in, and you get that right on there. Make sure that all the teeth are, are in there. There you go. And then you want to line up the hole with that if you're doing the umbrella. That's that's for the umbrella to go through. I can show you real quick. Just to get an idea of how the umbrella works. The umbrella. 
just an umbrella, white umbrella, fancy umbrella. But it, the look of it's really cool. And it makes the pictures nice. So you're just going to take the, the umbrella and slide it through the, the two holes about that far apart, that far away from the flash, I mean. And then just tighten down that little knob on top. And then that umbrella's not going anywhere. And then, in a normal situation, the ceiling would be way higher, and you can adjust your umbrella like that. But you'll have it swung around this way. You'll have it facing away from them. Which is like that. Make sure everything's tight. There you go. Yes, it does kind of work here. All right, so there you go. That, 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 that's set up. Now, the only other thing you have to do for this now, now that you have it set, is you got to hook your power cord up to it, which will be in that bag with it. So that just self-explanatory. The part that just plugs right into the back of the of the flash, right in there like that. Then you wind this this cord down. I don't like it to lay on the camera at all or anything, so I kind of like to. Just, you know, any way you can get it to where it's not resting on that camera. And you put it down under the table again. Reach back under there. And you plug that in. It's your final thing to plug into the uh, power strip down there. And you go back out here. You, uh, you go, what, what did I forget? Oh, you got to have that camera talking to that flash. So you have your sync cord. Which is sync right on the back of the... Of the uh, of the flash just plugs right in and then again once you've done that once you've touched that go back down here and give this a little push just to make sure that's in there nice and tight so your next your next step is you're going to turn you're going to turn your power on on your power ship boom power's on you will you look at everything makes nothing smoking which will never happen so then you go and you turn your printer on first. Give it a second. Wait for these lights to get up there to green. Just be patient with a second. Then you're going to hit power on the computer. Wait for it to come on. And then while you're waiting for that to come on, you can go out here and you can turn power on the TV. Wait for that. Wait for that computer to get booted up. Okay, so then we're going to go up here, we're going to turn the camera on. Then we're going to go up here, we're going to turn the um, flash on. It's just a red, it's the only big button there is, big red button. Boom, it's on. So then we're going to come out here, and we're going to hit double tap on the darkroom booth button. It'll load up the program. And this is where you're going to look over here on the side. You're going to see what's, you know, on your folder, whoever, whatever event it is. Today we're doing the Abby Stubbs event for 10, 14, 16. So then what you do is you go to start the thing, hit start, and you'll see the, the image come up. So then you go out here to the camera and you're going to slide the manual auto focus button forward and then put your button your finger down on the on the shutter button the little bug big black smooth button right here you're gonna do it halfway hold it for like five seconds just don't, don't don't go all the way down just halfway and then release and then immediately go back over here to the auto focus manual focus button and slide it back and then you're set and you're gonna come back out here to the then you're going to come back out here to the to the uh, computer and you're going to hit with your mouse you're going to hit color and it's going to start it to take the pictures but you also want to we, we, we're going to have a backdrop back here so what we're going to want to do is then we're going to come back out here and let's say you, you you're not right you're, you're still showing your sides so you're going to take this this you're going to take the um the lens and and you're going to Bring it in or bring it out on that backdrop. Just to make sure. Just 
just to make sure that, that that's good and tight. And it'll take the pictures. So it's going to take three pictures. Like a four second countdown. I'll have that set for you. If, if they ask you to change it to say it's, it's already been set. So that's done. So that's gonna, you know, that's gonna print out the pictures that we took. But now, while that's while that's printing, as soon as that gets, you know, starts to, you see your your stuff come back on your screen here. We're gonna we're gonna escape, hit escape on the on the keyboard, and then we're gonna go up here to main, and down to camera, and we're just gonna check to make sure all these are settings are still same, so same. Because sometimes this will change to 4.0 when you when you manual and auto focus it. Why you know there's no good answer to that, but. But always make sure you check that. So then you go back here, and you want to go to photos. You go to that last photo that you took. And you want to make sure that you're in the frame, the, the picture's clear, you know, all that, all that stuff. So then you hit cancel out of that. Go back up here to settings, and start. Now this is where, if you have to make an adjustment, let's say the side was showing on that full picture you took, you're gonna bring it in a little bit. Or you're gonna bring it in, but then when you do that, when you brought it in, you're gonna to have to go back up here and auto focus it again. So, so you gotta go up here and do what I said before: slide it forward again, hold the shutter button down halfway, and then turn it back off. Then you're gonna come back here. You're gonna to go to. I always use color. You can use black and white, but color is the best one to use. And you start again, and you take another session with it. Just to see how it looks. Now, this is where, if the picture is too dark, see it's a little dark, we can adjust that. And we'll show you how to adjust that here in a, in a, in a second. Once these pictures are done taking, we'll, we'll show you how to adjust that. Okay, so that's gonna print out again. So first of all, we're gonna go back over here and I'm gonna show you how to adjust the brightness of that flash. On the Alien B, there's a slider. It goes all the way over from 132nd all the way to full power. Just go a little bit, a little bit's a lot in the flash world. So just slide a little bit and then hit this test button right here to, um, to dump it. You're gonna dump that flash. You wanna make sure you do that or, you know, it'll, it'll mess it up. And then again, while you're out here, just make sure this button's plugged in all the way. Just make sure everything's tight and good, everything's right. So then you're gonna come back out here. And because we auto-focused it again, I do this several times just to, for my, you know, make sure everything's right. You go escape out again, go to manual, you go to camera, and oh look, because I auto-focused it again, when I, when I did the, the depth different, it changed it. So that's good. So now we gotta come here and we gotta change that back to eight. Always make sure that's at eight or those pictures will be really blurry. So then we're gonna hit camera, main, and then we're gonna start again. And then we're gonna do another test session just until this is perfectly, everything is right. You want it to be perfect. So it's gonna go through it again and it's gonna take pictures. Now this should be brighter than that because we turned that flash up, remember? See how dark that was? So once it's done, see it's a little bit brighter. You might have to go brighter, but that every situation is different. And one more. There we go. Now it's going to print out, and we'll get we'll get a better idea of how um, how it looks on the foot on the strip. Because it'll look brighter sometimes on the screen that you're seeing than what's actually coming out with the what's on the photo strip. As you can see, it's a little bit brighter, but not a whole lot. So you then you'd want to adjust this again, but you know that's a whole adjustment thing that you'll have to know, you'll have to do. You keep playing with it until you get that just about right. So then you're done. You take your pictures once you get that you know that, that 
and perfect. So then you're all done. Then you can escape.